Hey, hey, Craig here uh, with uh, our simple life. Uh, today we are going to install a tow bar onto this car right here. We just bought this car uh, about a week ago and we plan to use it to pull behind that motorhome right there. Before, what we did was we pulled uh, our Toyota Sienna here back behind uh, the motorhome with the tow dolly. And this one's automatic transmission, so you gotta get the front wheels off the road to tow it so we don't damage the transmission. And we towed it with this tow dolly. So let's get started on installing our tow bar. Reinforcement down here. So we're gonna do something different. A lot of people might not agree with this, but we're gonna mount a maxi right on here. And so we're gonna take this apart. I know there's a foam piece in there and we're gonna deal with that once we get in there. So let's take this off. Okay, we bought this uh, tow bar from Harbor Freight. I know it's not the best quality, but this car's only 2,600 pounds, so I'm not extremely concerned about, uh, you know, the strength of it. I heard they're okay. It looks pretty decent, so I, I believe it'll work okay. It was like about, well, it was 100 bucks, and we had like 20% off or something like that, so. You get 79 bucks. Well, 79, okay, great. Yeah. Okay, we got the bumper skin off. This is it, the whole assembly here. Wasn't too hard to get off. And uh, as you can see right here, this is actually the foam, the, fo uh, the foam uh, absorber, and that comes off as well. So I decided to uh, mount the, the brackets actually here. And once again, we have our foam reinforcement in here. So we have to compensate for that. I've actually drilled out the holes already. I drilled out two holes here and then two on the opposite side. This is where my bracket will actually attach. Now, once again, the foam that you saw right here, actually you can't just mount the bracket outside the foam because the, the foam absorber would just crush. Okay, so what I did was I actually purchased, I had to buy longer bolts to, um, so my bracket would mount out here on the outside of the skin. So what I did was I actually, with this foam, or I don't know what you call it, uh, I drilled out holes and then I mounted, I bought some of these little spacers or galvanized and I'm gonna extend my bracket out. So now I have four of these that line up with my holes on both sides. And now what I have to do, I'm gonna have to drill two holes on each side of the skin where the bolt and the bracket's gonna go through. All right, now these are the bolts that came with uh, the kit and they would actually mount something like this. That would go through the reinforcement. On the inside of it, you have these little square brackets and then you have a nut. So, since I'm using this extension I had to get longer bolts so same threading same strength well actually this will mount like so these will go through the brackets which will actually go through the skin go through the opposite side and the nut and it should do okay pretty confident about this now I don't I, this is not something that uh, that I recommend doing it. This is just how I did it. So again, if you're not comfortable with these uh, extensions, then uh, once again, it's just something you have to make a, your own decision with. But I think it's gonna work okay. I put silicone on the end. There's probably a better way and I, you know, I, again, this is what I thought of at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. Okay, so you can see now where we need to drill our holes and hopefully we get it pretty accurate now. We can take our bolts out. Okay, 
now that I got my pilot holes drilled, these should be lined up, hopefully. I'm gonna drill the hole a little bigger now, just to, you know, and I'm gonna kind of watch as I do this. I don't want too big of a hole. That drills through real easy, so. I'm pretty confident that they're correct. So. So now what I need to do, I need to go on the inside of the reinforcement, put the buck, and then these are locking bolts. And I might even put a second nut just to make it all that much stronger. When these actually press, they're going to be pressing on those retainers. So it should lock it right in just, just fine. We're going to test it afterwards. Again, this car is a very light car, so I'm not concerned. It'll have a safety chain, so... Cross my fingers, everything goes good. Um, the brackets mounted great. I mean, they're solid as ever, locked in, crushed between those those spacers, those galvanized spacers. So we could actually sit it up now. So I believe these have to be tightened once they're adjusted, but there you go. Put the pin in. You to do like this side, right? Okay. Okay, it's all set. So all we need is the safety chains once it go from the, the tow bar to the motorhome, and actually these have to mount to the car. And I think I'm gonna mount it to the tow uh, the pulling tab. Otherwise, it would have to drop under the car. But yeah, not a bad setup for Harbor Freight. Okay, we got the car all set up. We're gonna do a test drive right now. Um, the, the the ball in the, the tow bar need to be no more than three inches. And I think we got it right there. It looks a little high at the moment, but that might be just where the motorhome is situated. So once we get out to the flat road, we'll be able to check it. And we're going to check and see if our brackets hold up good. I don't see why they won't. And we got our safety chain, which actually will catch the car if the tow bar breaks loose. Mm -hmm. So hopefully not. We've unlocked the steering wheel, released the parking plate, parking brake, and put it in Ooh. neutral. Come on, good girl. <laughs>